Welcome back to the Morning Blend. It is a Mission Monday where we are celebrating the 150-year-old mission of the Salvation Army by bringing you inspirational stories of hope thanks to the generous support of Bader Philanthropies. And today, one man's incredible journey from the depths of homelessness to motivational speaker. One time, Brian White was not able to find employment and found himself at the front doors of the Emergency Homeless Lodge of the Salvation Army. Now, Brian has a full-time job and a part-time job. Brian's here because he wants to help others in homeless situations by sharing his story. And then we also have Major Dan Jennings, the divisional commander at the Salvation Army. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Thanks guys. for being here. Let's talk a little bit about your story, kind of what, what led you to becoming homeless and maybe kind of how that happened that you came to the Salvation and Homeless Shelter. Actually, I'm from the streets of Chicago uh, mm -hmm. and I was uh, involved in a lot of gang activity, drugs, this sort of thing. And I uh, did a lot of praying and asking God to uh, to take me away from this and send me somewhere where I knew no one. Uh, and actually my cousin booked me into Madison and I ended up in Milwaukee. So, on a bus? On a bus uh -huh. uh, with no money, no anything. We, and uh, I ended up, stayed there tonight and I asked uh, one of the guards, uh, that was there a shelter? And he directed me and pointed me in the way of the emergency lodge, Six and Walnut. How old were you? I was eight years ago. I'm 52 now, so we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little uh, math. Yeah, yeah. Little math. So in your, yeah. your mid-40s, yes. about you found yourself um, mm -hmm. homeless um, and not a job here yes. at the time. Yes. So how do you see it looking back on it now? So you mm -hmm. go to a homeless shelter. You're probably looking for a place to sleep, mm -hmm. um, a meal. But what it turned into was something quite a bit more than that. Yes, it did. Uh, I'm blessed. Uh, I'm thankful for the Emergency Lodge mm -hmm. and the Salvation Army for help opening their doors to me and many, many others. Uh, it's a great program, and uh, I'm just happy that uh, they were there for me. I think it, it, someone would say, you know, in your 40s, you're real set in your ways. Yes. You're living the life that you're living. There's not much that would make you maybe hit a rock bottom or, or hit ground zero, you know, if you're already kind of in that lifestyle. What was it for you or for your cousin that said, this is it, no more, you can't live this way, you got to get out of here? It was me more so uh, saying that, that this is not the life that I want to live anymore. Mm -hmm. I want to change my life. I want to be something. I want to do something. Uh, and uh, God gave me that chance. So here I am, and uh, I'm doing very well. Uh, I'm taking minister classes now. Uh, I want to give back what was given to me, and uh, hopefully I can be a part of the Salvation Army and minister to some of those people and give them hope and, and strength like they gave me. What it's kinds beautiful. of programs specifically helped you? I mean, was it as simple as like resume help or interviewing or finding job opportunities? It was all. Mm -hmm. It was all. I took advantage of each and everything. They have some uh, wonderful uh, things there, opportunities for you and help for you. And I took advantage of each and every one of them. And that's what made me, uh, brought me to where I am today. Had you held jo jobs prior to that? I had problems with holding jobs. But... Uh, Going through and them building my self-esteem, uh, uh, giving me hope, uh, you know, uh, giving me a direction. Now I'm stable and, and, and planted. Major Dan, what I, you, you said something during the commercial break that I think is pretty extraordinary because the job that the mm -hmm. Salvation Army helped Brian find is actually the place where he's still employed. And, and eight I know years later. Eight years <laughs> later. Isn't that amazing? Eight, eight years later, still at the same place. Here's, here's the beauty of this system is we have diamonds in the rough come in, yeah. like mm -hmm. Brian, mm -hmm. who's a great guy, has all these great skills, and, and obviously now we know is employable long term. But sometimes it's just a little hard to find that diamond in the rough. And so what we do is chip away some of those rough edges, uh, give them the tools that they need to be able to, to, number one, interview well, find the job, and then coach them with some real basic things. Hey, show up on time, mm -hmm. uh, show up every day, make this a priority, and yes. work very hard. And uh, for some folks, it's the first time someone's really said those things to them. And Brian took every one of those things, understood those, and has become an absolute stellar employee in eight years at the same place. And even as the company's changed hands and changed names, the one consistent piece there is Brian. Yes. <laughs> That's that awesome. is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're actually working in um, custodial services yes. um, at where the chancellor is at UW Milwaukee. Yes, UW Milwaukee, yes. 
And, and do you love it there? Have people I gotten to know it. you? You've it. gotten uh, to know them? UWM is a great place. Uh, wonderful, wonderful staff. Uh, I got to know the chancellor and uh, the vice chancellor and a great, great group of people. And they encourage me and keeps me strong. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of incentive and just from them and a lot of push. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, great, great group of people. Wonderful. I think there's so many stereotypes and, and misconceptions about someone who's homeless or is living at a homeless shelter. And I think you're a, a bright, shiny example of, of the character within and the desire to leave a legacy, be something more, and really kind of get your life on track. What are your goals for the future? My goals for the future are to make uh, more examples of people like me, mm -hmm. to help more people, to, to reach their goals, uh, to change lives, you know, to let people know that there's hope and they're not just forgotten, you know, and there's help out there. All you have to do is grab host to it. And good for you for taking advantage of yeah. the wonderful help that was made available to yes. you. Um, you did the very most with it. And, and Major Dan, you, how long has the shelter been doing um, helping people with employment services? Well, this is the 15th year uh, mm -hmm. with the employment services. So we started in the year 2000. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, the world certainly changed in those last 15 years, but still slugging it out, still helping people to find jobs. And the program has been amazingly uh, successful. And, and Brian, obviously, is one of yes. our best case studies uh, for how well the program has worked. Yes. But uh, you think about it, the barriers people have to being able to have their own place, number one barrier is to have income, to yeah. have a job. So if we can overcome that right away and get them into a stable place where they can work, now they've got some funds to pay their rent, to even pay a mortgage if they're able to uh, buy a house. So uh, we think this is critically important, and our job is to define people who really need quality staff and people who really need a job and plug those two things together. Mm -hmm. yes. And it feels good, right? It feels great. Yeah, good for you. It's yeah. incredible. I love that story. You can help support the Salvation Army's mission by donating to their program. Go to samilwaukee.org and then click on Mission Mondays to do that. We love sharing these inspirational stories with you. You can also call to talk with someone at the Salvation Army. The number is 414 302-4300. Again, we want to thank the uh, Bader Philanthropies mm -hmm. and thank you thank so you much for, for having me. sharing your awesome thank story. Thank you so yeah. much. Great to meet you. Thanks, you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you.